Ooh. The game for the first 30 days of Oni. I'm so used to saying the first 30 days of Wraith, you have no idea. But <laughs> let's get into it. This will be interesting. There's lots of pallets here. Not a lot of places where I can use my power to like really travel the map. We got a really standard build. So just Tinkerer, Corrupt, Pop Goes Weasel, Infectious. Standard, what you're going to do is run Corrupt so you bring survivors to you so you can get that first hit. That first hit is very important as Oni. And for survivors, that's the worst thing you want is to give Oni his first hit. Yep. So you could see a lot of early pallet drops. I'm only going to follow this for a few seconds. I really don't want to get stuck in a long gated chase. But I am listening upstairs. We know there's one person on that generator right now. And then we're going to leave off of this here in a second to go over to that generator. Oh, or actually, this works even better. Okay, sprint burst. Can I maybe get a hit here? Yes, we can. Woo! I would chase him longer, but there are people on the gen, so I'm just going to grab this blood and go. With game with the maps like the game, you do have to be kind of careful on where you spend your time. Because any survivor can really waste a lot of time by just simply dropping every pallet they see. We're going to hold our power until Tinkerer comes up. Or until I see a really good opportunity to use it. Down the stairs. When you're playing on this kind of map, you really want to eat away at the resources and then over time you know they won't have anywhere to go and it's all about gen management until then smart play all right first one easy peasy When you're playing with the Oni, if you want to learn how to control them just a little bit better, you're never going to hold forward. You're only looking to hold left and right. Uh, this might change with console users, but it should still hold for all the PCs. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I didn't have much time left anyways. There it goes. Alright, come over here. We'll get the quick little pickup. Another thing you might want to do if you're on PC and you're looking to maybe get some better turns, you're going to look to use your Q and your E for turning left and right. They probably finished this gen over here, but I might be able to do some damage to him afterwards. Ooh, he's running off actually early. That's really bad. He definitely should have committed there. We get a lot of value. Alright. And we're just going to kind of follow this up now. Life. Let's see if we can get him to drop this pallet. No. That's a good pallet. You typically want to eat a hit before you drop it. You never want to drop that while you're at your full health anyways. Alright. Getting bleeding. It's looking good. He'll drop this one. Yep. We're going to break it and leave chase. Well, actually, let me grab my power first. Power is pretty important, so there we go. Great. You'll see me leave a lot of chases here. Uh, you won't see me leave as many in a more open map because I have a little bit more time to kind of play around. But, hi, how you doing? There we go. Everyone downstairs. Tried turning around there. Couldn't do it. Feels bad. I am excited to see how much growth I do over these 30 days. And see how much better of a, an Oni I can become. There we go. Again, just getting rid of pallets best we can. And we're going to go pick up. Typically, you want to try and pick up while you're still in your power. Oh, that's great. Thank you. The nice thing about the game map when you are playing here is that the terror radius can really throw off survivors because they don't know if you're above or below. We have a great little gen over here for some pop value. 
Ooh, that was a bad drop. Really bad drop. It's also going to give us a lot of blood. He'll drop more blood right up here. Ooh, never mind. We're good. Trying to keep your power on, you know, pretty much full all the time is really helpful. In these kind of games, at least. This poor thing. Well, red? There we go. Other survivors over here on a generator. He's running, though. There we go. We don't want to swing there because it'll throw us all over the place. What we can do is actually start coming out of our charge as we're falling. That way we're not taking any of the penalty. And by the time we hit the ground, we actually are fully recovered. Let's look around. We want to get some good pop value again. But there is no Tinkerer. But this is doing some pretty good work right now. So here we go. Chase her off. Make her drop this pallet first maybe or get a hit. Nice. Now we can go ahead and pop. We see the other survivor hiding behind those boxes. We're going to act like we don't see him and then turn it around on him. That's right. He had sprint burst. That's my bad. She dropped. He's still here. <laughs> That's got to be a scary moment, though, huh? And we're just going to take our time and get our free hit. Now, while Oni has a ton of snowball potential, you shouldn't always be looking for it. It's perfectly okay to get a single down and then pick that person up. Not always if you have someone that's in an easy to hit place, but a game, you know, I, just, I keep saying the game like this map, but uh, the map on the game, whenever you're playing here, you're really looking for one hits and then moving on and trying to keep your power as much as you can. This gen over here seems to be going pretty good. And we know survivors are here. I'm going to kick it. I know she's right there. We have time. I'm going to give her a little bit of chase to see if she'll drop this pallet. And we don't want to chase her in that loop. You want to chase her this way in case she decides to, you know, veer off and go over there. Okay. She's smart, so she didn't go the standard route. Typically, what survivors will do is because they're over there, they'll go the, you know, route, the easiest route, and they'll go forward. But she was smart enough to not go that way, so we're not going to chase her. Okay, I see one guy over here. We'll use our power, see if we can get rid of another pal or two. Okay. He went round back behind me. Nice. Quick little flick. We're able to get it. No one's around us. We quickly pick up. I would rather have a better hook, like more towards the middle, but I don't want to waste the time to put him over there. No good pop spot just yet, so I'm going to hold on to it. I hear someone going for the save, it sounds like. Someone's also over here. They're going to run up the stairs right now. Oh, this is a good pop spot. All right, she's dropping. We have time. Let's grab all this blood, though, first. There we go. She's not injured, so she's not going to drop more. This is just stuff from the remnants. And now that was a bad drop. She kept running. You would hear the footsteps if she was walking behind me. She'll drop this. We're slowly but effectively removing all their resources. Okay.
Okay. There we go. Whew, he made a bad spot there. They're healing. Let's go take a quick look over here. How far do you go? There she is. We're gonna try and get use out of this. No, we won't. We won't get there in time. And we don't want to lose a kill. We sacrificed the gen. That's okay. He could also have Unbreakable. I mean, he would. I think he would have already used it. But we're gonna take him out of the game right now. One survivor down, four gens remaining. That is exactly what you love to see. It's a pretty clean cut game. To be honest, it was probably a mistake to even look for something extra there. Just because it's not so much that you couldn't get something there, more because you everyone knows that the map has really a lot of pallet spawns. And it's not exactly hard to pre-throw pallets on this map and get a lot of value out of it. So standard, we should have just taken the hit right there, picked him up, and moved around. That would have been the better call. Because then we would have had our power fully charged right now. Because we would have only used half of it. Okay. You ran out. You should have crouched that one. Well, take it. You sir, to give our power back up. We're going to use our power here. That way we can break pout quick and maybe look for a cheeky little play. Oh, I, I let go. Oops. Wrong flick. There we go. Let's try this again. That works. Will she drop? They're both on the bottom. We'll pick up. Let's not make the same mistake twice. Yeah, we got one right here. Even if he gets that gen to 70%, pop will come up. We'll be good to get there in time. <laughs> Fucking punching doors down. That doesn't really have a lot of value. Here we go. I thought I could catch him before the sprint burst was over. We'll tag him real quick. Then we'll look to maybe play, make a hook play. That was one hell of a vacuum. Hey, buddy. I figured you'd try and go for some kind of mind game. No value, no value. They're both upstairs. Save our power. I think that's really nice about Oni as far as being an instant down killer comparative to like Billy. Well, not so much Billy. Let's compare more to like Myers, right? Myers has a time frame and he can't cut off when his power is active. We can by just simply picking up, which is real nice. Don't see a lot of good pop value. But we know they were working back here, right? Eh, kind of. We'll go ahead and kick it. To be honest, I think I picked the worst gen for that. <laughs> Take a peek around. More power. Make sure no one's hiding. He's going around that way. Okay. We can at least use him to get some... Someone's up there on that gen. I heard a little bit. Is there any more... I'm trying to look for blood, but I guess there's just not any here. Feels bad. I'm gonna let her go. Perfect. Quick little pickup. Give her a nice little hooky. We also know now that we have a lot of blood over here. Once we use our power, it'll disappear. But when we come out of our power, we'll be able to go over there and pick it back up. So we know where to basically refill shop is at. And here we go.
Where's he at? Okay. Okay. We don't want to pick her up just in case of DS. And there we go. We will end the game just like that. Really clean textbook game. Just how you want to run it. I could not have asked for a better first day of Oni, honestly. This showed a lot of things and a great way of playing on an indoor map. A lot of things that some Oni players might struggle with are the indoor maps. Just because you can't get them turns all the way and play around certain loops. But this just felt really good, really clean. And we're going to go ahead we're going to hook up and call the game. Alright. And there we go, everybody. Day one of Oni down. And we got 20 more, 29 more days to go. I'm a little stuttering and whatnot, but that's, I'm just excited now. I'm excited to get better with this guy. I think I'm already, I've been practicing a lot with him in the past week, so... This just kind of worked out really well for me. Nice little Merciless. We're going to love it. Uh, come out. Clearly say GG's. Yeah. That seems about right. It just seems like a nice little group. Everyone's having fun. And L, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go ahead and let's go through our build real quick. We have Tinkerer, Corrupt Intervention, Pop Goes the Weasel, Infectious Fright. And for add-ons, we did run some stronger add-ons with the Wooden Oni Mask and, of course, Scout Top Knot. This is really well done. Um, they played really well. We just happened to be really on our A game today. So much love, everyone. This was also a perfect game in the best sense. Until next time, everyone. I'm Red, and I'm signing off.